Hey, how's it going there, YouTube? And today I'm, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Nintendo Switch to your Mac and stream from it in this video. And today for a product that I have, instead of using my actual Nintendo Switch dock, I bought something that's a little bit more low profile. I bought an Ikean. Uh, basically, it's a mobile dock for your Nintendo Switch because Nintendo Switch is kind of USB Type-C, but it's really not. It's kind of like a weird in-between. And I'm not really a big fan of having such a big dock on my table. So this one is smaller, it's lighter, it's compact, and it's more of a low profile. And inside of the box yourself, you have just your basic instructions, how you hook it up. Basically, you, you hook it up USB Type-C to the back to plug. You're given a couple USB A ports on the sides. There is no Ethernet to this. And with the product itself, you have your on top your where your switch goes in the USB Type-C. And then you also have a button on the back side of it, which you can turn the switch off and on, which it's kind of convenient. On the side, you have USB Type-A, HDMI, Type-A, charging, and then another Type-A. So you also have a fan on the bottom, so it will uh, keep your switch a little cooler so it doesn't overheat. You know, you, you always make sure you take off the plastic so it doesn't, you know, cause any issues down the road. So, you know, pluck that, throw that away, file that. And then with the dock itself, that's really about it. You're not giving any cables, which is kind of a, I mean, it kind of sucks, but I mean, for a dock for only, only about $20, I can really complain. It's low profile, it's small. It doesn't have ethernet, so that might turn some people off, but I got pretty good Wi-Fi, so I can't really complain about that. And then moving forward onto the next, you hook it up. This is how your Switch looks. I got the Hori controller pad, so I don't like the Joy-Cons because of the drift, so my Switch is a little bit bigger and bulkier, but the actual controllers are nicer in my opinion, so I do like that. So basically you just plug in the HDMI and then the charger in back. And then as you can see, it's, it's connected to Wi-Fi, it's charging. So from that's already taken care of. So moving on to the next step and just going forward, it just looks like this. I like it. It looks a little bit uh, over cumbering, but the dock is pretty small and sturdy. So you're not going to have any issues with that. As that being said, the next step in the process would be to hook it up your computer and then having a streaming service in which there's a couple different softwares you can do. For the Nintendo Switch, you need something called the HD 60S in which you can buy them for about 130 bucks brand new. It's called a capture card. And then with having a capture card, the input is, a, is then sent to your computer and you have to connect it through the in and out. And then you also need to charge it via USB Type-C to power it. And you can use like a wall brick. But in retrospect, you need to connect that to your computer for the USB Type-C port for the data capture for that. Because you need a couple different HDMIs to daisy chain it from the in and out to being able to actually capture the signal into your switch itself. And even if, if you have a computer monitor, I have a dual monitor setup, so that won't really affect anything. You just find which one you want. Make sure your monitor has at least, I'd say, two HDMI ports. I have one that connects to my computer, and then with the other one, I'm going to plug the capture card into the second one, so the signal will go in from the switch itself. So you connect the first HDMI to your switch, and then... You have to make sure it's nice and snug so it doesn't come loose at all. And then you take the second one, and then you plug that into the in for the capture card. That's a big thing. You have to make sure the first HDMI cable is plugged in for that. And then you press plug the other one into out for that. So you need two HDMI cables, one for the capture card, and then the one for your action monitor itself. And then once you're good to go, and once you have that plugged in, then you can go on to the next step, which it, it's a little bit tedious, but after you, you get it down a couple times, it's actually quite easy. And like I said, you basically have to daisy chain everything. And I've had a couple problems. One key feature you need, you need a USB 
3.0 cable for that. Like I spent the last couple hours trying to get this set up to actually work. And then this is my workstation right now. I One thing that just slipped my mind was that is it's working now. I have no issues. But when you to connect the HD60 to your computer, you need a USB A to type C 3.0. That's one thing I have to stress. You need USB type A to th C 3.0. C to C won't work, so you need that. Once you have that all plugged in, you have that running with your switch with the charger, you, ch you have the power adapter for the dock, and then you also need one to connect to your computer. That's the main thing is you need a USB 3.0 cable. And then once that all is all said and done, and then you have everything daisy chain to work properly. Like I said, you need it to work good so you can capture the signal into your computer, which then with a 3.0 will go capture the signal to that to my computer then. So I know it's a little bit of a pain, but once you have it set up, it works flawlessly and you have no issues with that then. But the one thing I do have to stress is you need a USB 3.0 cable to connect to the HD60 because 2.0 will not work and then with that you download the Elgato software that comes with HD60 and then you choose the device you want and then once you have that set up you can connect your microphone your webcam whatever you want and you can basically play then Nintendo Switch games right to your monitor itself and then you can just hit record you can live stream you can do a magnitude of different things. I will be releasing another video here in the near future that showcases that. But once you have that, all the hardware set up, I will be releasing another video about the whole software because there's people out there who want to stream Nintendo Switch games to their Mac or their PC. I'm more of a Mac fan, so I'm sickening with that platform. But there are some YouTube videos out there that show you how to do it, but some of them aren't always straightforward. But with this, this video is just strictly about hooking up the software side. I mean, the hardware side. But if you have any microphone or any webcam, that you can get that to work with your setup so you can start streaming any which way. And after I clean everything up, this is my new setup now for game streaming, which I'll be doing that in the next couple weeks with this channel. So I will be streaming... Nintendo Switch games here in the near future with my new setup. I mean, I do like this <clears throat> little platform going just because it's small, it's low profile, and it's not as big as bulky as Nintendo's dock themselves. So I like this. I'm more of a fan of it. And the ability to switch that is pretty nice. So I'm your host, VLD, signing out. Smash that bell and subscribe, people.